Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Right, well, so my name is Michel Dugon, and I am an adjunct lecturer in zoology at NUI Galway. I'm also the creator of Eco Explorer, a science outreach initiative. And in my hand here, this is Elsa, Elsa de Tarantula. And Elsa is one of my best ambassadors. You see, Elsa has introduced hundreds of children to the concept of biodiversity, ecology, and zoology. Elsa, I think, can change lives. Really, you see, I think that it can be an amazing experience, a life-changing experience for a child to actually hold an animal as, as charismatic as a giant tarantula. But let me tell you a story. When I was a child, my parents used to bring me to the local summer fairs. There were lots of goodies to be had there, lots of food, lots of very nice things. But my favorite stall was held by an old man who was always lost right behind kind of wooden crates. And in those wooden crates, there were amazing treasures. There were hundreds upon hundreds of bugs. And I would spend hours and hours looking at them and asking questions to that old man. And very patiently, he will answer. And I would dream of adventures, looking at all those scorpions, those giant tarantulas, those stick insects as big as my arm. You see, that old man, with his patience, that old man inspired me. He changed my life. And 15 years on, I arrived in Malaysia to teach French in a French alliance. My boss was a volunteer in his 60s, a former primary school teacher. He taught me how to teach. He actually brought me in a classroom, he taught me how I should arrange my class, how I should speak, how I should address my public, and how I should move in the space that was given to me. He also taught me that teaching is not just a job, that actually teaching is an engagement towards my students and their future, that actually I will influence those students, I will influence them for the 40 years to come, and probably also their children. That teaching, in fact, was a bit of eternity, that my teaching would survive me. So you see, if I've created Eco Explorer, it's because I was inspired by these two men a long, long time ago. Eco Explorer proposes workshops to children all throughout Ireland. In the past two years, we've actually um, delivered over 500 workshops to over 17,000 children, 3,000 adults. This represents over 90 school visits in the country. Within two years, Eco Explorer has become one of the most successful science outreach uh, initiatives in the country. But this would have never been possible without the support of 36 undergraduate students from NUI Galway who have decided to give up their time, their energy, their enthusiasm to help me. Now, we can really wonder, why would they help me? At the end of the day, the only thing they have to gain is a terrible sandwich at the end of you know, a day volunteering, something like this. So it's definitely not that. No, if they're volunteering with me, it's because they think that they're doing the right thing for their community. It's because they believe that enthusiasm is infectious and there are still thousands of children to be infected everywhere in the country. It's because they have fun doing it. You see, those students, are learning new skills as well. They're learning how to do public speaking, how to take care of animals, how to organize an event. So they do learn new things, but especially those kids, after a few weeks training, I can send them in a classroom filled up with three dozen excited kids, and they will keep them in check for full hours, delivering a perfect speech. Those students of mine, they're inspirations. And you see, I am the inspiration for these inspirations, and that is great. So, if I'm here today, it's actually to deliver a very simple message. We as academics are not born to a laboratory and to research. Our mission is actually to go out there, to be active participants of the community. We actually have a role within society, within our neighbors, our families, our friends. My message to you is this. Try and remember how exciting it was for you the first time you started to learn as a child. Try and remember why you decided to enter the discipline you were in. Try and remember that feeling of your first discovery. This is exactly what you want to teach. This is what you want to pass on. You see, 
We all have something to share. And I know that academic life brings us away from what enthused us first. But it's important to set some time aside, some energy, and to concentrate on that and to deliver again. I have only one thing to ask all of you. It's to try and be that old man of the summer fair. I'm just asking you to be that teacher who taught me how to teach. Just be inspiration for your students because they have the energy, they have the enthusiasm, and they want to be active citizens. Once you've done that, just fight. Fight very hard for the institution that hires you to actually recognize all that very hard work that you're doing within the community. And we all know that it's not recognized enough so far. And once you've won that battle, then fight again even harder to make sure that your students that have dedicated their time to you will get the academic recognition they deserve as well. Because we all know that they are not getting any. And I'll finish on that. Thank you very much.